It could be. So let's start with this. The Big 12's welcoming four new members officially on Saturday, July the 1st. So the end of this week, uh, schools that are incoming. Let's start with the one in the state of Texas, the University of Houston. Uh, their graphic that was put out, big city, big moments, Big 12, toast to the Big 12, June 30th, virtual event concluding with a toast at midnight to welcome and also Houston joins the Big 12. Also, Cincinnati, excuse me, UCF. Uh, I'm thrilled to say that we will be the flagship school for the Big 12 Conference. This is, a, of course, a map of Florida. Uh, in the state of Florida, with this move, the Big 12 is planting the flag right here in the heart of the Sunshine State. That's UCF. Then there's Brigham Young, which has really been counting down uh, for about two weeks. We had Greg Rubel, the voice of BYU Cougars Athletics, on last week to discuss this. The big countdown, Friday, June 30th, 11 o'clock p.m. Mountain Standard Time. The big party on Saturday, July the 1st in the afternoon at 3 at the Brigham Young practice fields. The Big 12 weekend, be there. That's from BYU and Cincinnati. The Bearcats, Friday, June 30th. The Big 12 bash countdown to day one from noon until midnight. Photo booth, video games, inflatables, meet and greet with the UC Spirit Squad. 12 hours of giveaways. And then, of course, there's the sponsor. So you have them. Houston, UCF, Brigham Young, and Cincinnati counting down. It's one thing, you know, when you hear, man, I can't wait to get out of the conference or I wish we were in a different conference. And it's also very refreshing, in my opinion, Craig, to have these four schools that are, man, let's count this down. Let's have fun. This is the last week. We can't wait till Saturday. Yeah, it's good to see some people that uh, want to be where you are and uh, want to join up and, you know, be a part of what is this new look Big 12 conference and a conference that has a very – you know, uncertain future, not in terms of a TV deal or in terms of the makeup or anything like that. I mean, I think that's all pretty well unknown. And if anything, there would only be additives uh, or it just stays pat. So, you know, you're not worried about too much change. But, yeah, I mean, the excitement part of it, given that there were two schools who, I don't know, basically got everything they ever wanted outside of, I guess, in Oklahoma's case, some better kickoff times, which isn't always in the conference or in, in the conference's control. Um, they couldn't even be bothered to send out their schedules when those were launched. And I felt like, you know, there's a lot of pettiness going on. I felt like that was just so unnecessary. And it's not a big deal. Like, whatever, you know, right. go go your separate ways. That's fine. But I, it just it, it, it just sat there with me like, what did the Big 12 do to you exactly? Like, that you're so – you can't even be bothered to post the schedule of the final year in the conference. Like, why, why does this have to be a weird or even a negative thing? Why can't you just say, like, hey – that was a great 20-something years. We both won national titles while we were here. We both won multiple national championships in various sports while we were here. We had some huge memories. We won, you know, Heisman or we won Maxwell's or we won whatever. Are you just going to pretend like that didn't happen? Like, and, and again, what did the Big 12 do to Texas? What, what did they do to Oklahoma? I, I, I don't know, but I just felt like that pettiness when the schedules came out was – was really just kind of undeserved. And so to see some schools that are, yeah, actually excited about the Big 12 and being in this league and, you know, aren't treating it like it's, you know, some, you know, pile of poo next to them they have to wake up next to or something like that. I mean, it's, it's great to see that. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to more of that enthusiasm from all four schools as they get further underway. All right. And then there's the timeline 